Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the August favourites because we are now in September and I definitely want to share with you a few products that I've been using in my makeup tutorials in the past few weeks or so and just my favourites in general really. So we are now in fall and I love fall, it's my favourite time of the year. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a skincare product. So this is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Gentle Cleansing Wipes. As you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, but I've used them like forever now and I've hardly got any left. And I only picked these up, I think it was last weekend. So I've been using them every single evening and morning. Um, when you've got, like, I've got eyelash extensions. Um, I obviously like to cleanse my face with the Garnier skin stuff but when you've got eyelash extensions I kind of like to get the wipes right underneath and go over the top sometimes just to get that makeup off initially and then go in with like a, a proper skincare routine like cleanser, toner, moisturiser but I've been loving these lately I think they're really good, really easy we also went away last weekend and I took these with us so I'm loving these Next product again is skincare and this is by a brand called Yes2 and I think there's something to do with Holland and Barrett, I'm not sure but my mum introduced me to these. This is called the Yes2 Cucumbers and this is the Soothing Eye Gel. I've been using this for the past two weeks now. Basically when I wake up in the morning I'm a very lazy person. It takes me a very very long time to wake up and if I get up and just cleanse my face sometimes it just does not feel enough like I cannot get up and not take my makeup off or like any extra panda eyes that I might have from the previous night I have to make sure everything is off my face and I used to use the under eye patches but I've run out of them and I haven't managed to get any more at the moment so I've been using this basically you do your cleansing routine and then you pop it underneath your eyes and you use your this finger here and you just kind of pop it under and it just brightens your eyes up, it makes you feel so much more awake it's just really good and it's, it's dermatology tested I believe and it's natural so it's 97% natural um, and it just wakes you up, it's really good stuff moving on to makeup um, this product, I'm sure you've seen it everywhere, everybody probably has it um, but this is one of my favourite products that I've been using this past month um, I do think this palette, the Soft Glam palette, also screams full, so I'm probably definitely going to be using it next month as well. But I just feel like it's a nice summery palette, but it's also a nice full palette, so I've been loving this. If you want to go and check out my previous makeup tutorials, I've done a Soft Glam palette um, look. I've also done a few natural um, peachy eyes looks with this, so definitely go and check it out. You've got some really, really pretty colours in there. Um, this is the first Anastasia Beverly Hills palette I've ever owned and I'm so happy that I got it because it's beautiful. Every single colour, especially these four right here, they're my favourite and I will go every day with these, like these peaches and the pinks and I haven't used this one yet but I really want to but I think this palette is amazing. My favourite colours are probably the burnt orange which I use in my transit as a transition colour into my um, crease and then I might go in with the Sienna orange soda onto my eyelids and it just gives you my natural eye makeup look that I use every single day. That is what I do, I do like an orange in the crease and then like a nice soda colour on the lids. Um, but you've just got some really nice colours like these sultries and this rose pink, so pretty. So definitely this palette. I do, I am thinking of picking up the Norvina palette, so from, I think it's their next one up, so I'm really looking forward to possibly getting my hands on that, and I'll do a review on that one, but I do love this palette a lot. Next palette is, if you want to go and check out my previous video, I've explained a lot about this palette. I've had this for over a year, and basically what happened was, um, it's a contouring palette, and I went in with this shade, and I was using it for a long, long time, and I've always thought I've got kind of a medium, medium kind of skin tone and when I've been tanned I've always gone in with this shade which is called Sombre um, and basically it was just giving my face kind of a muddy effect it just 
it made all of like the peach fuzz on my face kind of go like dirty looking and it just looked really muddy and horrible so I disregarded the palette for about seven months and I decided to pick it up the other day again um, and gone over it but I went with the shadow play this one here and this one is definitely my colour so I can't believe I disregarded it just because I was using the wrong colour so it was basically because I was just going too dark so yeah this palette is really good also I've not been into baking under my eyes lately so I've been going in with this colour here which is called yeah sorry this one Lyric is called so this is what I'm doing putting it underneath my eyes so instead of baking it with a translucent powder I'm just taking this Lyric and just popping it underneath my eyes and it just sets that concealer in place and the highlight so I, I love this palette seriously would recommend I definitely need to possibly get two more of these um, and fill it up because this palette is actually really good product is blusher in the summer I go mad blusher I think that's the only kind of time I've ever worn blusher to be honest I've never really wore blusher throughout the year but this summer I've just gone in with it um, and these colours are really pretty they don't have names so I'm not sure what the names are but um, this is called the makeup revolution blush palette this brand is really good guys you can get it so cheap they've got some amazing stuff I've got some chocolate palettes as well that I've also showed you in the previous video by them and they're so cheap and the colours are amazing the pigments really good as well but anyway I picked this up I think it was last December um, and the colours are beautiful they're nice shimmery blushes as well but they're just so pigmented I'll show you a few I'll swatch a few for you so I don't know if you can see them but this is like my one that I use it's like a nice kind of pinky shimmery colour and it's just it really nice it just you don't have to put a lot on all I will do is either grab a brush or possibly a beauty blender and just pop a little bit on and I've got a little bit on now so you can see it gives you like a nice glow but I really like this palette for that kind of natural look I think this was $8.99 so definitely go and get your hands on that and I believe they've got a sale going on right now so just go and check them out um, and then this palette is again by Makeup Revolution and it's called the Bronze and Shimmer Palette and it's part of their Chocolate Palette Edition and oh my days this highlighter here is what I've got on and it's so so glowy I love it and also if you're a little bit tanned or you've got a fake tan going on then you can kind of mix them both and it gives you like a nice bronzy highlight they're really pretty you can actually use this as a highlight or or you can actually just use it as a bronzer so really really nice I'll swatch this one as well it's so pigmented can you see that I was a little bit weary of putting that on my face to be honest, because it's just so dark but I've kind of gone in with both of them together and they do look really nice and then the last product that I want to show you is this I've been using this in every single video probably for the past month now and I'm loving it I've got two so this is by Barry M um, and this is the Mist and Fix makeup setting spray I always use a makeup setting spray if I don't my makeup does not last at all I never actually used to use one I used to just use like set it with um, powder and it just didn't work it just kind of like slipped off and where I got oily it just didn't work but ever, so ever since I've started baking and using this it's been working so the other one I've got is the matte finish but this one is the dewy finish and you can get this in Superdrug um, and I think you can pick up in like Tesco's as well but it's by Barry M and it's a really good finish it just leaves such a nice dewy finish when you spray it it's quite a it's not a thick mist it's kind of a thinnish mist but it's a very wet feeling but as soon as it dries it just gives you that really nice shiny dewy finish which is what I've got on now and I love it a lot so I need to go and pick some more up because I'm running out so that's it guys, they're the products that I've been using for the past month and I really like them, they're probably, like I said, my favourites. Um, so yeah, go and check them out, I'll link them all down below and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and follow my social medias and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!
you need clarity. So I 